Line, butterfly, airplane, whale. Uh, uh, what was this one, Manny? Um, a flying fish. Flying fish. Rover. Yeah. And? It was a crocodile. This one's a crocodile? Welcome back everybody. It is supper time. We've already got the beans done, cornbread is done, loaded potato casserole is done. We made that in yesterday's video. If y'all missed it, I'll link it down below. Dessert is also done. Banana cream pie. It's in yesterday's video too. So all I have to do is make some pork chops and I was gonna just bake them, but I decided to cook them in the skillet real quick. Everybody likes them better that way instead of baked, so we'll just cook them in here. Skillet will be a little faster too. I'm loving this time change, y'all. Once you finally get used to losing that hour, it's wonderful because it stays daylight longer. Like it's not getting dark here until after eight o'clock, like completely dark, you know, like 8.15, 8.20, something like that. We have plenty of daylight all the way up until eight. So when we finish with supper tonight, the kids are wanting to go out and let the ducks play over in the little stream. This will be their first time going over into the water. I mean, it's not gonna be like in the pond, just in the little stream area over there. They've been wanting to do it for several days, but I told them we had to wait until it warms up and it's been in the 80s today. So we are happy about that. The ducks are gonna take their first little splash in the stream. We'll wait on the pond a few more weeks before we introduce them to the pond. Try to go for a little swim? Oh, really? I just cleaned the porch. You got him? Yeah. Okay. Look, Georgette, we got a duck for you to see. Oh, here comes Jonah with his. Is he ready to go for a little swim? Yeah. I think they're gonna love it. Woo! Oh, he's like, what? What do y'all think about that? <laughs> the chicks are over there chirping like, where'd our big brothers go? Or sisters, we're not sure yet. Is it going to lay an egg? No, they're not going to lay an egg yet. Listen to those chicks though. They're like, what happened? This is exciting, huh? I need to my walk. Let's go see if Miss Turkey laid an egg up here this afternoon. Oh, she's in her spot. This is where she likes to lay her eggs. Yeah. I guess she was just resting. <laughs> False alarm. Mm-hmm. All right, chickies, it's time for cleaning again. Bringing y'all some shavings. 
Is it feeding time? Hey, Georgia, see if you can get the feed tonight. You'll have to go follow her. Y'all want to go for a wheelbarrow ride? Hold on. Hmm. Looks like somebody's ready for a bath. Not me. Not you? Oh, Jonah. I can't take that. Oh, Jonah. <laughs> I just love spring and summer evenings. Supper's done. Kitchen's clean. You still have time to come outside, and it's not cold. It's wonderful. Yeah. Welcome to the next day, y'all. Here my squeaky oven door. <laughs> Need some WD-40 over here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. The kids have been doing school for a little bit. I'm about to make some breakfast banana bars. We've already had breakfast this morning, of course, but I have some bananas that I either need to freeze or do something with. We made a banana cream pie yesterday with some of the, you know, good bananas that aren't bad yet because you don't really want the brown ones for that. But I have these that need purpose in their life. So we're gonna make breakfast banana bars. It's just behind the clouds. It'll come back out. So the recipe just calls for two mashed bananas, but I had that little one. We're gonna add him in. So yeah, the only thing on my to-do list today while the kids are doing their schoolwork and they don't need my help was wash clothes. And at the moment, they're not ready to switch out or anything. So I was like, what can I do? And I looked at those bananas. This really doesn't take long, y'all. And these banana bars are good. The kids can have them for a snack or if they don't want them for a snack today, we'll just have them with breakfast in the morning. All right, bananas are mashed. We're gonna put in a quarter cup of vegetable oil. And I have the oven preheating to 350. I can't remember if I told y'all that. Next, we need a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm just gonna eyeball that. I'm just gonna use the same fork I mashed the bananas with. I'm gonna mix that in. One egg. A teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of salt. half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now we're adding half a cup of all-purpose flour. We'll mix the flour in and then we're gonna put in one cup of old-fashioned oats. And that's it, that's the last ingredient for the bars. When they finish baking, we're gonna make a little drizzle to go over the top. It's a chocolate peanut butter drizzle. You can leave that off if you want to, but it does add to their yumminess. Okay, I have an eight by eight casserole dish sprayed over here. We're gonna fold in these old-fashioned oats. 
And that's it. This is ready to pour into the pan and it's going to bake at 350 for about 18 to 22 minutes. And you can add lots of different stuff in here if you want to add some raisins or nuts or anything. Or if you even wanted to add chocolate chips into this part, you could. They smell so good. You know what they're reminding me of is those no-bake peanut butter cookies we made a while back. This is making me want to make some of those. Okay, spread this out and that's it, y'all. Breakfast banana bars going in the oven and when they get done, we'll make the little peanut butter drizzle. And those bananas have found their purpose. <laughs> All right, y'all, the banana bars are done. They've cooled down, so now we're gonna make the little chocolate peanut butter drizzle. All we're gonna do is melt half a cup of chocolate chips and a tablespoon of peanut butter in the microwave. This is just Jif peanut butter, y'all. I've had a few people ask. It does look really good in these jars, but what happened was one of the kids accidentally dropped the peanut butter and the top cracked, so we didn't have a top for it, and I just transferred it to these jars. And it does make, like, it makes it look really good. Look at that. It looks better in these glass jars than in the plastic. I don't know why. It even seems a lot smoother. Not sure. I mean, it's probably all just in our heads. But anyway, it's just Jif. It looks so nice in the jars, though. It's almost like making me want to just switch the peanut butter over to jars every time. Okay, now about a tablespoon of the peanut butter. So we're just going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out and stir it, 30 more seconds, you know, until it's completely melted. 